In today's video, I will be showing you the basics of the Windows security that comes with Windows 10. So to open up Windows security, all you need to do is right click on the start menu icon and you then need to go ahead and click on settings. We now need to click on update and security and you now need to click on Windows security and click on open security. This is the main dashboard for the Windows security and as you can see most of the options do have a green tick which means everything is good but on the right hand side here my app and browser control doesn't have a green tick because I have this option turned off but we will go into a bit more on that later on in this video. The first thing we want to take a look at is the virus and threat protection. You have two options of accessing all these options here. You can do it from the menu on the left hand side or you can do it from this main dash. I'm going to go ahead and select virus and threat protection and as you can see currently there are no threats but if this window security did detect a threat then the threat would be listed here and you would then have an option to either remove the threat or allow the threat to run on your system. Just because it has detected a threat doesn't mean that the file is a threat. So just be very careful and just make sure the file is definitely safe and isn't a threat before approving it. Because the last thing you want to do is to go ahead and approve a virus to run on your PC. So if you want to do a virus scan, then you can go ahead and click on quick scan, which will do a quick scan on your system. As you can see, the last scan lasted 1 minute 17 seconds on my machine. And it scanned a lot of files, as you can see, 42,914. If we go onto scan options, you do have more options for a scan. We can click on full scan, custom scan or a Microsoft Defender offline scan. If you click on full scan, this will take a long time to scan, but it really will scan everything on your system. I do recommend you do a full scan every now and again, just to make sure there definitely isn't any threats on your machine. If we click on custom scan, you can then select a custom location on your machine that you want to scan. For example, if you have just downloaded a file from the internet and you're a bit unsure about the file, then you can scan that file. A Microsoft Defender offline scan will basically do a scan offline from Windows. So you will need to restart your PC to do this scan. But it is the best way to detect some of that malicious, dangerous viruses that can't be detected when Windows is running. If we click on allowed threats at the top, you can see what you have allowed to run on your machine. So as you can see, I do have a few different options there that I have approved to run on my PC. If we go back and then we click on protection history, this is where you can see exactly what Windows security has been doing and what it has been blocking. If we now go ahead and press back again and back again, we then have virus and threat protection settings. If you now click on manage settings, you can now choose if you want real time protection enabled you can also choose if you want cloud delivered protection enabled as well. Automatic sample submission. And if we scroll down slightly more, you have tamper protection as well. I do recommend you have all these options turned on because you want the maximum security on your Windows 10 PC or laptop. If we scroll down slightly more, you have controlled folder areas. So if you want to protect files or folders, a certain area on your device, then you can go ahead and select that area. And we also have exclusions. So if there's an area on your PC that you do not want to be affected from Windows security, then you can add that as an exclusion and then Windows security won't scan that area. If we now go ahead and go back again to virus and threat protection, we then have check for updates. You can click on this option just to check you are using the latest Windows security database file. And as you can see, everything is all up to date on my machine, which is good. Now, if we go ahead and click on virus protection again, we have ransomware protection, which you can click on manage 
and you can then go ahead and select a certain area to be controlled on your machine which is that option that I was saying about earlier the control folder access it's just another way of accessing it if we now click on account protection if you're signed into Microsoft you will have a few options here I'm not actually signed into an account I am using a local account so I don't have any options to choose from here if we then go ahead and select firewall and network protection you want to make sure all this is on as well and as you can see my firewall is all on which is good it will protect my system from ingoing and outgoing connections to my PC if you do want to allow an app through the firewall then you have the option here to allow the app and then you can go ahead and press change settings and then press allow another app and then browse for the app that you want to allow access to the internet if we close down that if we now click on advanced settings you then have an even more in-depth Windows Defender and Firewall settings page where you can set out inbound and outbound rules. If I now close down that as well and if we click on app and browser control you can then turn on this option if you want Windows to automatically straight away stop a program from installing on your PC. So if I click turn on it will now protect my device even more from any unwanted threats. Now I have that option on. If we click on protection settings, you can see there is a massive list of settings that you can turn on. And I do recommend you keep it all on to give your computer the best chance against fighting any viruses. If we go ahead now and click on device security, we have core isolation. And if you click on details, you can turn on this option as well, which will prevent attacks from inserting malicious code into high security processes. If you do want to learn more about this feature, then you can click on learn more. If we now go down to device performance and health, you can see that the health report is all good. We have green ticks. And the final option is family options. And you can set up all kinds of parental controls if you do have kids that are using your PC in this screen here. But you do need to be signed in with a Microsoft account. And that is it for the Windows security that comes pre-installed with Windows 10. I hope you did enjoy this little tutorial about Windows security. If you did, hit the like button below and subscribe for more computer sluggish tutorials.